It's been another exciting day here at the Longines Royal International Horse Show, with Shane Breen and Haya successfully defending their 2022 Queen Elizabeth II Cup victory. It takes Shane's tally in this class, which he sponsors through his company Breen Equestrian, to four victories, extending his run as the most prolific winner of the title since it was open to both genders, and putting him one shy of Liz Edgar's record of five. Adrian Whiteway and Chaka Volo were the first double clear, with the lead changing hands twice more in the eight-strong jump-off before Shane and the Grey stole a march with their lightning round. Only speed queen Harriet Biddick could come close, taking the runner-up spot on Night of Glory, with former two-time winner David Simpson in third aboard Flashback VL. Shane, four times now, we've had a second pair with the previous three. Um, this one's maybe better because it's high as second time, she won it last year, and I've a great uh, respect for Haya. She's such a nice mare uh, in every way. Um, and, you know, when you go in the ring, if you have a fence down, you basically knock the fence. She's, she's so careful, and she's just an incredible horse to have, and very lucky to have her. Shane, was it a difficult decision keeping Haya for the Queen Elizabeth II Cup with the five-star competitions ongoing here as well? Um, interesting question. Uh, it was uh, in some respects, and and then what it boiled down to really was I thought it'd be nice if she could do the double, and that's why I chose to keep her first. And yeah, I'm delighted that she did do the double, um, and I'm very happy for Old Lodge that they had a one-two. And congratulations to Harriet and David. Um, I think it was a great competition. So from a, sponsor, a sponsor's point of view, I'm very proud to sponsor them. Shane and Haya were not the only pair to hold on to their 2022 Royal International crowns for another year, as Brazil's Francisco José Mosquita Musa and Catch Me Marathon retained the Royal International Speed Classic title. Second win here at Hickstead this week, and a birthday winner for you as well. Yeah, really happy. Uh, the show was, was good for me and, uh, at the moment. I, I hope tomorrow the same <laughs> and he'll help. <laughs> and she's such a fast mare as well. What makes her so quick? She's quick in the floor uh, and quick in the jumps. She don't lose time in the jumps. She, 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 she jumps really close to the fence. But she's careful and uh, I think this is the, the difference for, for her. <laughs> and you were very early to go in the class as well. What was your plan going in? I try make my best. I know I have a lot of good and fast horse coming after me, and I have looked today. I think two, two or three riders faster than me, but we turned down. And but the the, the things work good for me today. <laughs> Very well done. Thank you. Jack Whitaker scored his first win in Hickstead's main arena as a senior with his top ride Equine America Valmy de la Land, taking the Royal International Salva. First to go, Matt Sampson set the time to beat, with Joe Whitaker and E Banking the first to surpass them. But their lead was short-lived, with the next into the ring, Jack and the Speedy Grey knocking more than a second off Joe's time. Will Edwards and SHW Candies B set a strong chase, but couldn't catch Jack and settled for the runner-up spot. Jack, super round, your first win in Hickstead's main arena as a senior. Um, how does that feel? Yeah, no, really, really happy twice. Obviously, you come to these shows, you want to try and do the best you can, especially as like a young rider coming into it, you want to try and prove yourself a bit, and I think I did all right there today. <laughs> Certainly did. He looks super cool, and obviously, as you were saying, he's one of your top horses at the moment. You had great success at, you know, a top placing at the World Cup final with him. You've had big wins at London. How much does he mean to you? Yeah, massive. I, he's, he's holding my career together at the moment twice. He's, he's doing all the winning for me, so I won't be here without him. And tell me what he's like as a person. Yeah, he's a bit of a he's he's a, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a loose cannon. He's got he's got a fair character to him. He's got to anticipate. I look, I think I know him pretty much inside and out now, so I can anticipate it. But he's a uh, he's a bit of a fireball. And going in there today, what was your plan? Uh, to win, to be honest, that was the plan. Going to these going to these kind of classes, you want to be you want to be in it to win it. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and what makes him so good? Ah, uh, he's unbelievable careful. Like he's, he, you, you'd be struggling to find a horse that's more careful than him. It's just when, when he's on, when he's on with you, when he's on side, he's he's unbelievable. You, you'd be struggling to beat him and jump off. Well done. Thank you very much. In the showing classes, Meg Edmondson and Briar Hill Buddy Bolden tasted success in the Small Hunter Championship, and I spoke to Robert Walker after he claimed the Hack title with a super consistent Parkgate Royal visit. 
Robert, his third win here. How was he out there today? Oh, he was amazing. I mean, he, he's one of those. He is a generally nice little horse, so they're easier when they're like that because you can ask more questions. And um, every time I pressed the button, he gave me the right answer. And I had to do that knowing the opposition we were against today. I mean, uh, Fortune Hyde Park. I've had him in the yard previously and won here with him. He's a formidable horse to beat um, and not very easy to do. So we had to pull out every stop to try and beat him. And uh, William really did pull it out of the bag. It's just such a shame his owners had to go to the other ring to watch the intermediate show hunters. And uh, they've, they've, I, think, I think they've missed him. So, I mean, we shall be watching the live streaming tonight and things like that and having a few glasses to celebrate. Absolutely. And knowing the opposition, like you said, as you do, what extra tactics and things does that give you? What do you use going into? Uh, I think ta you, could, you could say um, tactics, but I think the adrenaline rush of riding into the main arena at Hickstead, I mean, it's, it, it is awesome to ride in there. It's like sponge riding on that turf and every horse should love it and enjoy it. There's very few that go in there and shrink. And he's certainly one of the ones that grows. He really does rise to the occasion. So I just tried to use... Um, his rhythm of his trot, he's got such a maiden cadence. And he, could, he could have probably turned his hand to um, uh, dressage, I mean he jumps, he probably could have done that on the event, he could have done anything because he is such a little natural in his rhythm. So I tried to show the best bits we, we, we could off of him and um, you know, he's, he's certainly been a, a great horse for the Rower Yard and yeah, very much appreciated of him to put, pull it out of the bag again today. And you're having a great week here as well this week overall? Yes, yeah, I think, I think we've had... Um, maybe six in and five winners or something like that. It's been, it's been amazing. I thought we were coming with a strong string of horses who've been doing very well all season. Um, and um, I think, you know, you, you hope, but you're never quite sure coming to a big venue. I probably the one disappointment was the horse that was second. And that just says, that's me. I mean, I, you know, I was, I, I love, I thought he, he, he was, he was just class on the day, um, but it's just, that's the way showing goes. And you, you, you've um, got to be happy with the way they perform. So it's been an amazing week. And um, yeah, we've got another day tomorrow. We've got my wife in honour of Cobb tomorrow and my daughter on her 12 too. So we'll have a, another crack tomorrow. And of course, we can head to the Supreme. The Supreme as well. Yeah, like I was just saying before, though, the Supreme, to me, um, it's an added bonus on the end of a fantastically busy week. Uh, I've been very fortunate to have won it a few times. And I know the hacks probably haven't got the ability to go up there screaming up the up the home straight and wowing the crowd with a strong gallop, but we'll try. I'm not saying we're going to jump the the water jump, but we'll give we'll try something. But he is he is an impressive horse. He's done it, been the supreme before. He was reserve supreme that day, beaten one by one mark. So we shall we'll give it another go anyway. Well, very best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. And I also caught up with winners of the miniature horse championship, Charlotte Leonard and Amberlynn Tiramisu. Huge congratulations. Tell me what winning in there means to you. Oh, it's just an absolute dream come true. Um, it's all so much hard work and effort and just to take the double after winning the Hoys last year is just an absolute dream. And tell me all about him. So Teddy, he was my little bargain find and um, he's just an absolute showman. He just loves the job. He, he, he just performs. The bigger the atmosphere, the better he just performs. And yeah, he's... My little girl, Lily, she absolutely loves him, even though he's a stallion. Yeah. He's just got a lovely personality and he's just a little showman. And you work full-time as well? Yeah, I work full-time, so juggling the ponies um, with my little girl, I'm working full-time. It is hard, but yeah, I do do it. And how many have you got at home? So we've got five miniatures at home and a ridden horse, so yeah, it is, it's hard, but it's worth it on days like today. It certainly is as well. And of course, you've had success at Hoys with him. What makes him stand out? Um, I just think he's a good colour, but the way he goes and he just holds himself, he like he just rises to the um, to the occasion. So, yeah. so, well, huge congratulations! Thank you so much. We'll be back on Sunday for the final day of the Longines Royal International Horse Show. Don't forget to like and to subscribe for more content. Head over to the Horse and Hound website for all the latest news, reports, and interviews. And don't forget to pick up Thursday's issue of the magazine for the full print report.